Hey guys, it's Richard at Reefs.com and we're here on the show floor of Aquatic Expo by Magna 2022. And I'm here and actually in Coral View's booth and I haven't seen you guys in like two, three years. Since, it's been a minute. Right. Yeah. It's really good to have you guys back on the floor because you guys have so much products to bring to us, to our industry. Yeah. And Connor here is going to show us some amazing new product that is integrating with the Hydros controller. Connor. Exactly. And so we wanted to focus on this Hydros control at this show. There's so much technical stuff to kind of go over with right. everything we have going on. And you're totally right. The XP8 is a control device and it's our newest offering. And we all recognize it. It's an eight outlet power strip. Right. But what exactly does it do? Well, this is a control device. So you could purchase this by itself and it'll, it'll run by itself as it is a control unit. However, it gets so much better when you pair it with another control device because right. you get these inputs that can make decisions on what these outlets are going to do. So for example, say that you have a heater on here. Right. A heater goes on this plug right here and we get our temperature sensor that's available and that'll tell us when it's on. And this is for that mission critical life support system. So we all know we had the Wi-Fi power strips and the Wi-Fi power plugs. Right. However, that was limited to Wi-Fi connectivity, okay? Right. And the true reefers out there, the hardcore guys, they want that wired connection. And we always knew that. And so we've been working on this for a long time right. to help satiate that need. So the XPA is a wired eight outlet controller, right? okay? And so, for example, this I like to call this thing the redundancy machine. Okay. Because if internet goes out, it relies on Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi goes out, it relies on a wired connection. If the wire connection is severed, it is still a control unit that holds all schedules and commands internally on that device still. Until you replace it, like, you know, that, whatever that's failing. Exactly, until you figure out what's going on. But we have to get to a severed wire connection before that even happens. So we have multiple layers to go through and redundancy machine. Gotcha. Is this already out in the market already? It is, and it's very hot right now. So if you see one and you want it, pull the trigger because they are selling out very quickly. Richard, I don't know if you know, you haven't been to our new headquarters either. No, I have not. We have a new SMT machine that yes. is a pick and place machine. I, and yep. so we are making these in-house now. So they're made in the United States in Slidell, Louisiana. That is amazing. Actually, yeah, Carlos has actually told me about that when I visited him in Chicago. Yeah. That you guys are purchasing this machine to make everything in-house. It, 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 it was a game changer for us right. because the demand was so high for some of these products and we were looking at a three or four or five month lead time right. to when we purchased, when we placed the order to when we actually get it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we can do this in a day. Yeah. You know, we can pick, we can, one day we can make XP8s, the next day we can make control fours, the next day we can make wheelies. You know, right. we, we're very agile now. That is very amazing. And that's a, actually a very, very good news, especially what's going on right now in the world. Yes. Shortages of all, everything. Like it's real. Says, it is 100% real. Of, you know, materials and et cetera. Now, like this, how much something like this would cost? So as a controller only, because you yeah. can purchase it as a, like a as bundle a package, package, as a right. pro pack. As a controller only, it's two seventy nine ninety nine, And it is a redundancy machine. So the, the hardcore reefers know exactly what that is and why that price point is there. Right. Alternatively, we do still have the Wi-Fi power strips for $40. Right. and the plugs for $24.99. Right. You know, so we have options for every single person. Our motto is we're an aquarium controller for everyone. And right. so we never want to tie our customers' hands to make them purchase something they don't need. Um, and for the Pro Pack, for those guys that really want everything, we right. have the X4 and the X3 Pro Pack. And what that comes with is for the X4 Pro Pack, it comes with the X4 right. and it comes with the XP8, as well as the command bus cable, mm -hmm. two terminators, pH probe, and yeah, and it is a Hydros Collective out of the box. Gotcha. What do I mean? You know what a Hydros Collective is, right? Yeah. yeah. So when you have multiple control units, Hydros controls, and you pair them together, that's a Hydros Collective, and it keeps everything safe, redundant, and strong. You know, I have a question for you. It yeah. is, it's actually deviates a little bit from XP8, but I see in the forums, and it, 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 there's a question that gets asked pretty often. Are you guys looking into salinity monitoring? I, I love that you waited to ask me this on camera. So <laughs> right now, no, we don't have one. Okay. We don't have one. And there's a couple reasons behind that. Right now, we all kind of know that the salinity probes on the market, they sway and they swing, and they're not 100% reliable. Mm -hmm. And you know us, we want something reliable. We want something we can stand behind. And right now, the technology is not there for what we want to do. Mm -hmm. So we're working on maybe something, maybe, right. you know, and you know, Stay tuned. 
Gotcha. All right, so now going back to the XP8, right? So I'm looking at this over here, and I'm looking at this as a command bus. I know this is the brain, brain unit by itself, yeah. but I noticed that this only has a two command bus unit compared to, let's say, um, X4 or yeah. X2 or X3. What's the difference between this and the, the rest of the units? Exactly, and so every single one of our Hydros controls has two of those command bus cables, and that's for that in and that out. That's how we communicate to the other controls in the Hydros Collective. Right. The XPA is actually a power giver, so it is providing power through this cable to this X4. So we can actually create power redundancies too. So if we put two power givers on each end of the daisy chain, mm -hmm. if one's on one breaker and one's on another, we have a power redundancy built into there. So the XP8 doesn't have any sense ports. It doesn't have any probe ports. It just has the command bus cable so we can communicate with the other controls to get those inputs so we can make advanced level decisions on what the XP8 outlets are going to be doing. Gotcha. And one thing I really, really like about this is that every single unit is a brain by itself. Exactly. So even if one fails and you have others to fall upon. Yep. If the Wi-Fi chip on this one for some reason gives out, mm -hmm. this one will pick it up. If this one gives out, the next one will pick it up and so forth and so forth. So as the more Hydro's controls, the stronger safer it is. Awesome. Yeah. And so we have a lot of fun things going on here. You know, we kind of have a couple examples. Right, so right. we have the X4 right here. And this is the flagship device. So it has every probe that we currently offer. Every port and probe. So we have two port probe ports and that could be a PH or, or ORP. Right. It could be two PH. I think most people run two PH. Yeah. One in the calcium reactor, one in the tank. Yep. And we can keep everything fully saturated, fully right. safe and, and redundant. Then we have the sense ports, and what are senses? Senses are touch, feel, I wish we could smell the tank, mm -hmm. um, but anything that we touch and feel. So we have optical water level sensor, we have temperature sensors, we have rope leak detectors, yeah. you know, all those senses. Further, we have the orange ones, and the orange ones are onboard 12 volt power. For a small little pump like this, or a fan like this, we don't need to take up one of these whole output devices. Right. So we have that onboard 12 volt power. But what happens when you run out of those drive ports? Mm -hmm. Well, we still have the XP8. So say, for example, you're full of drive ports right now, you're out of them, yeah. and you want to hook up a doser. Well, the doser, by standard, it comes with a drive port adapter, so it goes in the drive port. However, the, since this is a wired connection, this and the drive port act exactly the same. So we actually sell the adapter for the doser to plug into the XP8, because we have timing on this down to less than a quarter of a second. And for dosing, every little tiny second, millisecond, it completely counts. Right. And so we even have do-it-yourself things. So for that drive port, it's not only first-party options. If there are anything 12 volt that you want to power at home, yeah. you can easily take it. So we have a computer fan right here yeah. that we've cut the wires and we've stripped it and we've put it on here. Yeah. For example, at home, I have my calc washer stirrer, yeah. and that's 12 volt. I don't want to take up a whole output for that, a whole outlet right. for that. So I put it on the drive port and I stir it automatically through the hydros control. Yeah. Further, I have an algae reactor. I have the Reef Octopus LR150, that right, big right. old algae reactor. Right, right. Yeah. And it's got that big old light on there, which is still 12 volts. Yeah. Again, drive port power. I don't need to take up a whole device. You know, what's one thing that was actually very exciting about hydros is the community that's building up right now. Yeah. And what's really cool, like exciting for me was every, how everybody's getting involved in it. You know, like guys like Jeff or like, you know, a couple yeah. other people that's finding all these different type of products that's available in Amazon or whatever, and then they're bringing different stuff from different applications from different, you know, hobbies or et cetera, and applying this into our hobby. Yeah, absolutely. And we wanted to reward some of that too. We are absolutely 100%. If you want to do it, we're not going to limit you to do it. Yeah. We have feature requests that customers give us, and we're like, that actually makes sense. Let's let's figure out how we can implement that. Yeah. And But one of the big things is the zero to 10 volt. Yeah. And the zero to 10 volt is available on the uh, Wave Engine, the X4, and then on the We Leave, the light edition, we have right. the zero to 10 in. And that can be used for a number of things. Button boxes, breakout boxes, yeah. uh, zero to 10 volt control on lights, zero to 10 volt control on pumps, yeah. humidity sensors, flow buttons, anything, that. float sensors. Yeah. Anything can be handled on the zero to 10, mm -hmm. and you can expand your control so, so, so far. So it can be as simple or as advanced as you want it to be. Gotcha. One thing that, that David has always told me whenever I talked about hydros is that how this is like element proof. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, like how much how, is it like element proof? How element proof? proof is it? Yeah. Well, we work in a splishy, splashy environment. You know, yeah. there's water flowing, there's right. stuff happening. So we wanted to have a very durable controller. So all the screws that are exposed are 316 stainless steel. Okay. So they're very, very high end, but also fully 
IP65 waterproof. So you can be rest assured that this controller is still going to work and still function in these harsh environments that we're in. That's amazing. Right? Uh, that's Don't see that happen too often on a not controller. Very, not very often, no, <laughs> no. Then they usually have to be replaced the, the right? head unit not or something on, like that. Not on this one. And if, say, something does happen that needs to be replaced, you know, we don't have to make you buy the whole kit either. We also have the controller only. So if you already have a Hydros Collective and you want to expand out to the next one, you don't have to buy the whole kit. Yeah. Just buy the next controller and make it right. how you want to make it. We right. want to be the handshake company where we get along with everybody and we fit everybody's needs and no, no bluff needed, no extra fluff or anything like that. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Connor, for taking your time to show me all this great stuff. I learned a lot about, a lot about the XP8 and I can't wait to incorporate this into my collective and be part of my reef. It's really my pleasure. Thank you so much for Thank having you. me. Have Until next time. Yep, have a great day.